What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode here at Trail Militia. Today, it's day three here at Trail Hero and today we're doing a brand new trail. We're even popping a bottle of champagne according to the uh, lead here. This is a trail that just got cut up on Tuesday and we're able to run it now. Um, it's like four or four days later or whatever. Um, but it is new to Trail Hero. It is new to the Sand Hollow State Park. Um, and it's very exciting. It's called Dead Broke. It is a 7-8 uh, according to the scale. So I guess once the few few groups go through it they be able to like really solidify the number but as of right now that's what it is it's a seven um with some eight optionals but we're gonna get in here and knock that out trail hero has been amazing it has been kind of toasty hopefully you guys enjoyed the first two episodes kind of uh mild you know we had the breakage the first day second day was wayne's world that we've done before uh but we had fun it was a good time and today it's gonna be a brand new trail so this one is the one i was the most excited about the whole week so we're gonna get in here they're having driver meeting now we already been aired down pretty much the whole week that's another beauty of being out here in san hollow 10 minutes from my house come back in and party then go back home the guys are getting in the driver meeting out of control and uh we're gonna lock this radio in and we're gonna get started so stick around that broke's gonna be fun all right team just to let you guys know where the trail is at it's in between arrowhead and triple seven so if you look at the map right there you pull up on onyx i don't think it's on it's gonna be on anybody's maps anytime like super quick i think they have to submit it and all of that but that's where the trail starts so it's it's right around the the fence line so once you get it through the tunnel you make a left and you just follow the fence line all the way through um again i don't know when this this will be marked but dead broke is right in between arrowhead and triple sevens so that we're gonna get in here get started and uh we'll start recording it let's get it's nice to open to have a new one and so we're excited about that too as best off road we get to open a new trail with you guys so here's to that Right there's good. Whew. Hard passenger and forward. If I have to do it one or two more times. Okay. Hard passenger and forward. Jerry, we're heading out. Alright. There 
you go. Hell yeah. Good job. Yes, keep it passenger. Keep it. Right there. Come on. Yeah? Yeah. Keep it that way. Right there. Yeah. Easy, 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 easy. Back it up. Easy on the throttle so you don't... Put your hand inside. There you go. Slow. It'll, it'll settle. Just keep coming. There you go. Now go drive it hard. All right, team, so we just pulled up to the next aerial area right here. You can see that's what we gotta do, man. It's really sick. We dive into the canyon and climb back out of it. So the little entry point is a little tricky. It was real sketchy for the gladiator because we're so long and the belly was dragging, so we had to go really high. But it did all right, but we're gonna continue to go. Here we go. sick Keep going, driver. Keep going, driver. You're good. There it goes. 
You come in. Now go passenger. Come up. Keep going. Keep going. You're good. Keep going. All the way, passenger. More. All the way. Woo, baby. There it goes. Good job. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Put your slider on that rock. More. Keep it driver. Yep. There you go. Keep that slider on that rock. There it goes. Keep going. Your slider sucks, dude. It just that sucks. <laughs> Hey, but it's better than your paint. Now go hard, passenger. Keep it, driver. Keep going. Play with the wheel. Keep going. Driver. More driver. Keep it, driver, hard. Come on. Now cut it. Alrighty team, so we did what's supposed to be the hardest part of this trail and then we met up at the top But I just want to give special credit to Best Off-Road for uh, hosting it and then look they brought shade They brought tacos. They brought vibes and uh, for somebody that sets up stuff all the time I do really appreciate it. So we're getting in here have some tacos get some shade get some drinks And then we're gonna keep it pushing dead broke so far it's been fun. It's been a party I think there's like another one more obstacle maybe that stuff and then we're gonna finish up maybe hit some pool action and then I'm gonna go back to editing. Look at the guys, just vibing. Just vibing. Time to eat, let's go.
There you go. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Alrighty team, so it's getting tough to record because we are carrying a really good pace just because it's really, really hot. But we just pulled up to the baby lion's back. So you come up and over there and it drops you off on the other side. Then you make a right and you're basically done. It comes out in the dunes. The dunes are really soft right now, so you're gonna have to stay in the power band and kind of get out of it. But you see him crawling up it right now. And then we're gonna keep going. A few moments later. The cooler's not turning on now. We'll have to check it over there. So what happened? <sighs> Fuck! <laughs> I was going too fast. So I was going too fast and uh, actually it wasn't even my fault. The strap gave out. Which is really weird because it's a really strong strap. I think the, uh, I don't know actually. I have to take, take a look at it. But the cooler caught some air. Came my back window and it shattered it. So that sucks. But that's what happens when you have a magnet thing and you're trying to have too much fun. The whoops will get you. The whoops will get you. Shit! What Shit. happened? So I had everything strapped up. The stock um, Mopar clips, so these uh, handles that they give you, the actual plastic completely blew up. So, I mean, the weight of that cooler isn't too bad. We weren't going super crazy fast but we did have a couple whoops just a heads up if you guys do have the stock uh, mounts usually OEM stuff is really good but it wasn't this time and uh, I broke this shit and it broke my window so there you have it we gotta replace the window now and uh, yeah that's it all right team so we just uh, unloaded the cooler and we haven't opened it yet so we're gonna see what it looks like inside I'm sure it looks thrashed in there but the ice cold did survive it still works everything is pumping the way it's supposed to it did take a beating. There's a, you know, a little bit of love here. Marks right there. That's what it looks like. Oh, ah! God. Somebody's salad got tossed in here, dude. And there's definitely liquid down there. But one good thing about the ice cold also is it does have a drain plug. So we're going to remove what's still good, rinse it, and then we just take a water hose to it, and it should be nice and good. That went through my window and uh, kind of survived. Made a mess. But at least it didn't open up and eject Ocito, everything in the sand. Shout out to High School for a good product, man. Still working, still kicking. We're going to clean this up. All right, team, so I was going to close you guys out, Intro Hero, but that file got corrupted. We're closing you guys out here at home. I just noticed that we didn't have that file, but the window is replaced. Cooler is locked in, and we'll talk more about that. But the cooler did get replaced. If you do break a window and you're in the IE area, that's 500 but Don't break that window. It sucks. Uh, but the, the window did actually break during the whoops. So after the second jump, I think that half had broken. And then after that, it was uh, it just went bad, you know? So the rail came apart. I actually removed that rail too. And then uh, the cooler is now bolted to the frame. And then it broke the other side. So, But the window did get replaced. Thank you guys again for sticking around for Tro Hero. Uh, we still have a couple more episodes. We can continue watching it. We have uh, the series is going to lock it all down for the four or five days that we will. And then uh, from there, we go to Moab and SEMA. So there's plenty of content coming up. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe follow us on instagram youtube patreon all that good stuff go check out the podcast if you haven't already uh, we talk some good stuff in there magnus is on there we have a couple of our brand partners that are joining us for those conversations and just talking about overall what the offer community is doing and whatnot um appreciate you guys and everything you guys do and we'll see you next time